Okay, so this morning, it is January 3rd at 4.23 a.m. I couldn't sleep. I have to go to college at six and I have a long day. So this is gonna be the intro. I'm going downtown, obviously. Uh, going to West Roads first. I don't know right now if I'm taking the four or the orbit downtown. I'm going to the Bob Carey, well, to the pedestrian bridge downtown. And this, the, well, the bridge is gonna be its own vlog. And then I'm gonna go to downtown Council Bluffs, which I've never been to. And I'll vlog some there. I'll, I'll vlog a bit there. Um, probably gonna go to the library. Probably gonna go see uh, the Union Pacific Railroad Museum. Maybe go to a coffee shop or something. I have breakfast. I have cinnamon toast crunch. I'm organizing my backpack. Obviously, you know, I have to bring homeboy right here. And I'm probably gonna get on some Xbox. Oh, <laughs> yep, I gotta bring this, this, and there's breakfast. And we like it. So I've just made it in downtown Omaha. Here we are at the Gene Leahy Mall downtown. Uh, it's a new installation. I don't think it's been here for more than two years. It's currently a nice, how much, it's 22 outside. Uh, hopefully that temperature's gonna rise as we go across the Missouri to Council Bluffs. So right now, um, well, we're on our way to, oh, you can see <laughs> there was a flash freeze, a lot of moisture in the air. And so, I mean, everything is just covered in frost, but we're gonna take this small back route through 11th Street on our way, well, to the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge. It's that easy. Uh, it's got a long name, but we'll make it. So as we reach Capitol Avenue, you're gonna start to see, hopefully, a lot more life. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know if some, uh, well, it doesn't look like blood, but, you know, that's just life. So, as we reach Capitol Avenue, uh, well, this is one of the new installations that have been started popping up around town. This one's called the Capitol District. Here we have Oh. Oh my, it is so cold outside. Here we have the Marriott. And if you're ever in town, don't ever come to the Starbucks. It is really a terrible place to be. Um, I've always been treated badly here. We have some sport bars. We have some other miscellaneous apartment buildings. And we're gonna start making our way over to the event center. So, there's a bit of overcast. Well, just a bit of fog. 
today around Omaha. We're gonna start making our way towards, oh God, this camera is really shaky. Um, we're gonna start making our way towards the CHI Health Center or the Quest Center. It's, it's one of the only arenas in town. It's the only big one. And obviously it's here downtown. Here we have the Marriott. We have the Hilton on the other side of the freeway. We're gonna make our way to a really small and untraveled bridge that's gonna take us over to the main bridge. They started really investing a lot in, well, what, into the Lewis and Clark Landing, which is, let me see if I can get a good shot. Well, we have the Cuit Luminarium or something. I really don't know how to pronounce that. We have some parks, some playgrounds over there. And then over all the way, we're gonna get to that someday. We have the original Lewis and Clark Trail. And obviously the arena's closed. Uh, there's not events here every day, but as you get to see, we're gonna go across this really neat bridge. And we've arrived to the bridge named after Martin Luther King Jr. So there's a lot of plaques on these types of bridges downtown. If you want to pause and read that, it's absolutely fine. And you can see the sun rising, obviously from the east. Uh, but the reason this bridge is here is um, they're just tracks. And train tracks serve, especially out west, when the settlers first came out here towns really were built just stops on the railroad and today say in nebraska say in grand island railroads are what divide north and south east and west things like that create a lot of maybe cultural but i don't know i don't know so over here we have the cute lunar <laughs> luminarium it's closed because it's 7 a.m on a Wednesday people are at work and but one day hopefully we're gonna get there hopefully I'm gonna have a better camera than this <laughs> not camera I mean gimbal I'm telling you guys I just ordered one a DJI Osmo 4 hopefully shots look a lot nicer well stable that's really what I see just like right there and when I tell you that it is freezing I'm not kidding it's 22 I'm wearing pants I don't have gloves on I don't have a hat on I don't have a scarf I have a flannel and a shirt and oh too much floor and that's it I'm gonna die out here I really am so well over here we have a I think it's a National Park Service building a federal building a federal building and obviously because at least I think so I think the Lewis and Clark Trail is like protected in some way but we'll get onto the bridge momentarily so we finally arrived here at well at the Bob Carey pedestrian bridge at Tom Hannafan's River Edge Park I believe I hope I'm not mistaken uh cause that might come and bite me later but that's alright so we have some signage here and 
I don't know if it's federally protected. It is, well, it's obviously a park. So, a point nine. <laughs> we got some marathon uh, signage. Obviously, we have the occasional anti-suicide message just because it's so high up. And there really is no other bridge like it in town. I haven't heard any stories of anybody jumping off, but it's bound to happen one day. And we've got a lot of construction going on just all around Omaha. Just because it's winter, it hasn't snowed. All we see is this little frost on the ground. I don't know if you can see it's shiny, but here, you can just see how tall this thing is. I mean, and it goes, well, it goes over the Missouri River, but I don't even know if we should call it a river at this point, just because of how drained it is. And up here, you're gonna see some of it. You're gonna see how low the water level is, and yeah. So now that we finally reached the top, uh, you know what, I just feel safer. Well, you can just see you can really see how empty it is on this side. I mean, oh. <laughs> right here, these embankments, I mean, these were all underwater. I mean, the Missouri used to flood a couple years back. There's stories of, oh, flash flood in downtown. And now that's just a thing of the past. Over here we have well, we have the Missouri, we have I-480, and we have I-80, all in the background. We have the Cuit Luminarium, we have downtown Omaha, and we have Charles Schwab Field, which used to be TD Ameritrade Field before the merger. But uh, we're just going to walk down here. And one of the nice things about coming out on such a cold day especially in the morning is that you're just gonna you're just not gonna find people i mean that guy in the scooter i don't want to say anything but who blasts the music well i've seen a couple of people there's a couple of people around here specifically on this bridge who ride around on e-scooters and blast music i don't know if that's just what some people like or maybe some sort of fetish I don't know, I don't really care. But I don't think we're gonna make it to the other side of the park today. I really don't, it's really cold. My hands are freezing. And I guess we'll just go. So I haven't frozen to death and we've reached the other side of the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge. And now we're on the council bluff side of the park i really don't know what there is to do here there isn't a lot there's some new apartments there's some parking garages some empty office space i need to catch the bus to council bluffs obviously i'm not going to make it on time but i just want to show you guys just a bit what it's like here so we have this massive grass field they hold concerts here sometimes usually free concerts but hmm. obviously we have our sun rising really quickly just because of how short the days are and i hope you guys like it once we finally reach okay so now that we're actually there's a couple of things to do. There's some, well, there's some eateries. Apparently there's a Thai place. 
on the other side of this pavilion there's this restaurant called the terrace which i don't really know what they serve they didn't say on google but i want to end this vlog with a transition to going to council bluffs to going downtown people in Omaha or people anywhere don't really know and when we think and when we think of council bluffs we think of rednecks because that's just the kind of vibe that's given off there so i want to end this on the positive note thank you